Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from Clicksgeek, and in today's Google tip video, I'm gonna go through Google's billing, how it works, how you get charged, all of that stuff, because there's a lot of confusion out there about why they're pulling you know, debits from people's accounts once, twice a week, and uh, people are confused and they don't understand how it works. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how it works inside a live account, and also in Google's help article, I'll walk you through how they justify what they're doing. All right, guys, so you are inside one of our Google Ads accounts, and simply put, we're just in the billing settings right now. So if you go up to the wrench icon, it's gonna pull up this box here, billing settings. This is where you're gonna add your debit card, credit card, whatever for your company and your Google Ads account. And then uh, we're in settings, so I don't know why it's not doing that. There we go. So you have your payments account, your uh, account ID, your payments nickname, right? I don't even know why it's called this an old account how you pay. So here's the most important part. Essentially, you're going to link your debit or credit card to your Google Ads account. You want to make sure you have it set on automatic payments. That's very important. That means Google will just auto bill you once your threshold limit is met. Now, the threshold limit for this account, I believe all accounts now, I'm not sure. It used to be 350 was the minimum. Now it's 500. So once your account, once your campaign inside your account accrues $500 worth of clicks, Google will automatically debit your card on file and there'll be no interruption in the service. Your ads will just keep running. Now, if you don't have automatic payments set up, you're going to have to manually come in and pay Google. But there could be, if you're not fast enough, or you're not on time about it, or it happens in the middle of the day and you can't get to it, your ads are going to stop. Then their tracks are not going to run. And that's not good for a Google ads campaign. You don't want that to happen. So that's very basically, this is how it works. Okay. There's, a threshold, once that threshold is met, you get hit with your card. They'll automatically take it out of your card. Now, what if you hit this threshold once, twice, three times a week? If you're getting a ton of clicks, if you hit that threshold, you're going to get debited. That could happen multiple times a week. It really depends. All right. So that's why you have to be uh, careful with your daily budget. Make sure you have a monthly budget set for your Google Ads campaign and um, you'll be okay. But you can get debited multiple times in a week if your campaign is doing really well and you're getting lots of clicks. Hopefully, if you're doing your campaigns right, you're getting lots of leads as well. But um, it can it can debit you multiple times a week, and that's totally normal. It just goes based off of the threshold limit. That's all it is, whatever you set that at. Now, I believe you can edit that and make it higher if you want. So they debit you at 1,000 or whatever. Um, but you might have to have an account with that has, or a Google Ads account that has a little bit of history. I don't think you can do that with a brand new account. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> so it tells you right here, can we charge automatically on the first of each month if your balance reaches 500? It, it's going to charge you when you when you reach 500. It's not going to charge you on the first of the month. Now, it's just how it works. I'm not really sure why it says this because, you know, if, if you spend $500 in a week, you're going to get debited that week. And then if you spend it again the next week, you're going to get debited. That's just the way it works. Hopefully that clears it up. Now let's take a hop over into Google's help article and I'll kind of walk you through how all of that works. So we're in a Google help article here, and it's about your, your payment methods, right? So there's, there's a few different payment methods you can set up in your Google ads account. And um, I highly recommend that you guys, if you're brand new and you don't really understand how this works, just go to the Google support.google.com and you can search up here for anything you want. It'll walk you through. It's very, very user friendly platform. So if you come down here, it says available payment methods. You obviously have a bank account that you can just link. Right. And it tells you exactly how to do it step by step and numbered steps on how to set that up and tells you what to expect. So everything's very in line. OK, so you can set up a bank account that's going to pull for the Google Ads account or you can set up a debit card, credit card. And again, it tells you here, <clears throat> Google does not accept prepaid cards. That's something to uh, take note of because a lot of people try and do that. And again, this is kind of what I talked about earlier in the video, automatic payments versus manual payments. And it tells you. Oh, look at this. This See, this is new. Manual payment setting isn't even available for new accounts in the countries and territories listed below. Are very interesting. All right, so make sure you check that out. Anyways, you should be on automatic payments regardless. All right, make payment. Uh, we did that. So PayPal. So you can set up a PayPal account to uh, pull for the Google Ads account. And the last one they have here is backup credit cards, which is if you're on automatic payments, you have a primary method and then you have a backup method. So I highly recommend that you set that up because if something happens with your primary meth method 
payment method and it, it doesn't debit the card or there's an issue or something happens, then Google will go right back to your backup and they'll try and debit that card to make sure there's no disruption in service for when you're uh, running your Google ads campaigns. So that's pretty much how the payment section works. It's it's very basic, guys. There's not It's not very complicated. And like I said, if you get stuck or you get hung up, just ask a question in the comments below or just come here to Google Ads Help, the little help support center thing, and you could find anything you want, like related links, like know your billing options. Like there's, there's so much, how to add a new payment. And this is all literally step-by-step -step numbered steps on how to do this stuff. So it shouldn't be too, um, too much of an issue. But again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below.